lovely weather. A warm welcome to Selhurst Park here in London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. What can they do from here? Zaha. He has time to play it over. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Jeffrey Schloop starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. And so they start at 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. Might be a chance here. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Granit Xhaka. Running with the ball confidently. Marcinelli, well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Now a decent position, and he's through here. Oh, couldn't beat the goalkeeper, and really should have been able to. Giving the ball away. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Schlup. Zaha superbly read and executed oh super piece of play being egged on by the crowd real chance well the keeper is happy the bar was there and cleared away on a shot from miles out Well, I have to say, Arsenal have got a bit lucky there. Had they gone two down, it really would have been a struggle for them. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. And a textbook interception. Ezzy. The ball with Jordan, are you? And the referee blows the whistle, bringing to... So the ball is rolling again. Arsenal trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Effective challenge. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. And options in the centre. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Well, I have to say, I've been disappointed with Arsenal's attack in play. They've lacked intensity and a bit of goal. Mind you, they're still in the Hang this on one. a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. Able to clear the danger, at least for now.
Wilfred Zaha. Can he find the right pass? Well, that looked to be quite dangerous, but just a fraction off. Martin Erdegaard. And good pressure high up the pitch. And he might be through here. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. And over comes the corner. Well, the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. Martinelli. And return to Jacka. And will it be the leveller? And the ball is loose. Good bit of pressing. Advantage, Arsenal. Well, he could really get at the opposition and blocked for now. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. And he's got the beating of his opponent. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And still a chance. And he clears it out of harm's way. How can they find a late leveller? And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. These fans have been brilliant. Just listen to them. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on here. What a noise we've got. Ducouré. Schlup. It's with Erdogan. Saka could be well he's missed the chance and the keeper didn't have to do very much and that will be all for this game it goes into the history books as a victory for Crystal Palace how would you sum this up and the match